Bremen in yellow jacket. Does it have this thing? Let's find out. Hey guys, welcome back to the Gun Lacking channel. Today we will be testing the Remington Yellow Jacket. This is one of the hyper velocity cartridges. And uh, they usually don't do very well accuracy wise, but we'll see. But um, if you take a look at the box, I'll show it up here somewhere. If you take a look at the box and take a look at the cartridge, I get this falling down feeling. Have you seen that movie? When he orders a thick, nice hamburger and they get this, <laughs> this sad excuse of a burger. This is the feeling I have with, um, with the appearance of the yellow jacket. Because on the box they seem golden and nice. But when you see them in real time, in the real life, it's almost like they don't have any copper on them. I think there's just enough copper to foul the barrel. <laughs> okay, so this is... This is not good for um, accuracy. I think my rifle is gonna need a good deep cleansing after I have fired this. But let's see, let's see if they can group anything. Uh, I'll start with five fowlers and I'll probably dial while I'm shooting them because the last cartridge I shot was the Ely Club. So uh, it's probably gonna go high. I have uh, dialed it down a bit, but well, it was at 100 yards I shot um, the club. Let's see. Start the chronograph. Three, two, one, and there we go. I'll shoot at the upper left target. And the air is in because this is going to be loud, I guess. Not going to shoot the chrono. I just brought the Corona back to life, so I'll try not to shoot it. Okay, let's see. Yeah. Fourteen twenty-eight. Way high. It's it's a bit mirage today. We have a nice warm summer day today in Norway. Ah, misfire. Yeah. Let's see. Some nice indent on the cartridge. Let's try another another place on the cartridge and see if it goes bang now. Fourteen fifty. Sure did. Still a little high, let's see. 1427. 1436. That was only four. I said five, we're gonna shoot five. But you know, counting in these boxes, if you talk while you're counting, well, that's two things, one, one too many for me. 78. The group is actually not too bad. Okay, shooting for groups. Let's count. One. Oh. Two. Three. Four. Five. Okay, upper right target. Fourteen oh two fourteen thirty two thirteen fifty eight thirteen ninety five. Well, it's at least as good as the stinger. And the velocities are around 1400. 
and they report 1435 I believe or something so they don't lie too much let's see bullet you know I can't read these small letters with my old eyes so no I check it when I get home one two three four five let's see I just dial it to the right one let's see uh, yeah one I'll start with one okay <laughs> Thirteen seventy. Thirteen fifty six. Thirteen eighty five. Fourteen oh eight. They cut really nice round uh, holes in the in the paper. This uh, truncated bullet has a. Uh, real step so but that is costly when it comes to the ballistic coefficient because I believe this has a BC of 0 .0, 0 0.095 which I believe is the the worst BC I ever seen on a 22 they're usually around 0 0.11 to 0 0.13 somewhere so I guess it's gonna lose velocity quite quite quick downrange. Okay, lower left target. Fourteen fifty-three. I didn't see where that did did go. 1818 What? Am I hitting something down range? 1401 No, there I see the holes. I didn't see them. 1436 1996 that group opened up a bit okay one two three four and five and by the way if you enjoy my content please press the like button and also do subscribe if you don't already do that and if you could do me a favor and just leave a comment because youtube algorithm loves the comment and i try to answer all the comments that are posted in the in the comment section i i can't promise it but i try to answer everybody so well enough enough about that let's try the fifth group over there Fourteen oh four thirteen ninety thirteen eighty seven fourteen fifteen fourteen twenty three opened up more and more. I guess that the barrel is pretty dirty now. Man, no point in shooting that anymore before I've cleaned it. Okay, let's go and get the target. Okay, let's take a look at the numbers from the chronograph. The chrono picked up 24 out of the 25 rounds. 
and the maximum velocity was 1453 feet per second and the minimum was 1356. This gives us a spread of 97 feet per second. The average is 1405 feet per second, 95 feet per second slower than advertised. And the standard deviation is a non-impressive 25. Let's take a look at the groups. I measured the Fowler group just for the fun of it, even though it's only 4 rounds, and it ended up at 0.446 inches. Group 1 ended up at 0.614 inches, not too bad for a hypervelocity cartridge. Ok, let's take a look at group number 2. Group 2 ended up at 0.857 inches. We can see that it has a horizontal spread, I guess we can blame the wind for some of it. Group number 3 was almost the same size as the second one, with 0.852 inches. And group 4 was the largest of them all, with 1.199 inches. And I suspect this is because the barrel was starting to get really dirty. If you're gonna use this round for hunting, I would probably clean it quite often. The average then turned out to be 0.88 inches. And that was all for this video, and I'll see you next time.